All right, good morning, Brian. How are you? Uh, welcome to the Modified Chapel number three. I know because coronavirus rates have been high, we've stayed out of the gym, but they are beginning to fall. And so our plan is to be back in the gym uh, next week um, under our normal format. Uh, but today I'm joined by Maurice Page, the newest member of the Berean uh, community. He's, he's our new facilities manager. Maybe you've seen him uh, <laughs> around campus um, and no doubt you've seen um, the care that he's already taking for um, our school. Uh, but I wanted you to get to know him. And, and so we chose to, to involve him today in this interview chapel and focus on him today. Welcome, Mr. Page. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing well, doing well. Doing All right. Well, well so uh, the first logical question to ask to introduce you to the Brian community is who is Maurice Page? Well, Maurice Page is a man that loves God with his whole heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And I am very thankful, extremely thankful to Mr. Harris here for accepting me in <laughs> to this facility to work. So yeah, that's who I am. Well, I, I just I just prayed and then and you came. It was <laughs> that's, that's how that's how God works with with our school. And, and I'm not kidding about that. Um, every employee here has the uh, the Berean miracle story of of how we all ended up um, in this great place um, serving all of you. And so it's it's always a good story, and uh, maybe we can get more into that in a little bit. But tell us, tell us about yourself. Tell us, you know, um, you know, just a little bit more about you. Okay. Well, uh, first thing, how I came to know the Lord was I was a contractor in New York City, and I had like eight contracts to do for a day. And I went to the first customer's house and they started talking to me about Jesus. And I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to hear this. I'm here to do my job. You know, let me just do a job and leave. And so her and her family you know, said, they can, can they pray for me? And I said, absolutely. You know, prayer can't hurt me. So, you know, they gathered around me, they prayed for me. And then I left that house and every other house I went into that day was the same thing. And, you know, I'm no fool. You mean every, every, every family wanted to pray <laughs> for you? Every family talked to me about Jesus and wanted to pray for me. So I'm thinking now, oh, I, wonder, somebody's trying to say, I, wonder if, I wonder if something's yeah. going on here. So, you know, um, I left there and of course I was feeling I needed to leave New York. It was just time for me to get out of there. And 1997, I, I transitioned to Florida and a friend of the family bought me a Bible and we used to study it. But when he wasn't there, something was in me saying study. And every day, every single day, sometimes I went three, four days with no food, no water, just the word. And I studied that thing diligently. Yeah. Diligently. And then I started getting dreams and stuff. And then God just started talking to me about turning my life around. And I got into a real bad accident one day on my way to work. And when I got better and I went back to work, you know, a friend of mine, he came in and he invited me to church. So I, you know, I went with him and I went and I, of course, whatever the pastor was praying about and preaching about, I already knew it because I read the Bible so yeah. much, you know, from back to front, front to back. Anyway, I knelt down at the altar and I prayed. And I said, you know, Father, I know my life is not what you want. And so you're gonna have to tell me about this born again thing. I don't understand it. And so he spoke to me, you know, and he said you need to get rid of some of that music you're listening to and some of those things that you're involved in. And so I did that. And you know, we I went three times. Like I said, I knelt down and I prayed. And then we went to to the to the mall and we bought some tools and stuff. So when we came back to service that night, I was just praying and everybody was there singing and clapping, and rejoicing. And I just put my hands up like this, and then a light came down and hit me. <laughs> so I was like, what is going on? So I'm ready to run because something is going on in here. And once I stopped and I calmed down, even my thoughts, I realized, was, was changed. And whatever I had on me was taken off. I yeah. felt that whole burden, that whole load just thrown to the side. So it's been since 1997. So I'm very thankful. Man, I, I, I know a lot of us would describe like you know our our salvation in that way that this weight was taken off that this light came down um but but how did how did your life change after that 
Like, you know, because, I mean, there should be a change, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so tell Absolutely. us a little bit more about so, that. So first thing, I never used to go to church. So yeah. that's number one. So I knew I had to be connected to the body of Christ in order right. to grow, in order to fellowship and have better communication. Because, you know, the friends and stuff that I used to hang out with and talk to, yeah. they weren't the godly type at all. So <laughs> Construction workers? <laughs> yes, and, and some other sorts yeah. as well. Yeah. So God was just saying, you know, it's, it's time to turn. Yeah. And let me show you how I want you to live. Not the way you think you should live. Yeah. Let me show you what I desire for you. And that's what happened. I, that's what turned me around. Yeah. You know, see, looking into his word as a mirror and, and, and I was realizing the reflection I was seeing wasn't what he wanted to see. So I had to conform to what he wanted to see. Yeah. So. Well, that, I mean, that's super interesting, you know, and to think, and I know I threw uh, construction workers under the bus there a minute ago, <laughs> but, but think about that, that God has his people everywhere, like in every walk Amen of life and every profession, um, he, he brings his people and he brings the good news of, of repentance and salvation through Jesus Christ. Um, so so to, uh, tell, us, tell us a little bit about your relationships with um, your coworkers uh, in the construction field and how uh, maybe they started to see some of the changes in you after you turned. Oh, your life absolutely! Over to I yeah. mean, I, I could just recall one day I was um, inside the Connex and I was talking to my foreman, and a guy came in there and he started cursing at me, "Get out of the way!" And yeah. and and I just said, "Okay," I told my foreman, "I'll see you later," and and I walked out. The old Maurice wouldn't have dealt with it like yeah. that, you know. I would have got upset and you know probably got into a fight or something. Yeah. But the new man walked inside and I just prayed. And then a few minutes later, the guy came and apologized to me. He said, "You know, I didn't mean to talk to you. Like I'm going through some stuff." And I wind up ministering to him. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, yeah. Uh, awesome. when when you meet Jesus Christ, He is the one that changes your life. Yeah, no doubt. You're not going to be the same. Okay, yeah. so my heart was different, my thoughts were different, the way I acted was different, even the way I spoke was mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's the evidence that your life has been transformed. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, that's awesome, man. And I know it's it's funny, it's like we were strangers when we met, when you came <laughs> we came to the school for the first time. But like but we're united in yes. spirit yes. and brotherhood. Yes. yes. Um, you know, by developed Jesus a great Christ bond. And the Holy Spirit within us. It was, isn't that, a great it was, it was so cool. It was so yes. cool to uh, spend four hours here too. I know we hung out, right? <laughs> and uh, and I was thankful. It, I mean, it was it was another miracle um, at this school of, of God working, of prayer, and then of seeing God show up uh, in a miraculous way and bringing us someone uh, who is better uh, than we deserve. So so tell us, like by by trade, I mean, you mentioned construction, but by trade, like what is your specialty? Uh, what what are you what are you passionate about in your work and what, okay, what do you like uh, to do? I'm a union electrician, so I've been an electrician for 25 years, and coming here at this school, it's it definitely a whole plethora of work that I have to learn. And but because of my ability to learn, yeah. I can pick up and adapt yeah. to anything very very quick. So. Matter of fact, <laughs> when Nick gave me the job offer, I turned it down because I was like, that's not enough money. No, yeah. not, I can't pay my bills. No, I can't live like that. Yeah. No. And a friend of mine, two weeks passed before I talked to you, mm -hmm. and a friend of mine called me and said, Maurice, sometime God blesses us with something and we turn a nose up to it or we frown on it. That's not yeah. enough. It's not good enough. And I said, oh, man, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I yeah. said, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so, you know, I prayed. I and... prayed you here, by the way. I prayed you here. <laughs> so I prayed about it. And, and God said, Maurice, you need to humble yourself. You need to repent and humble yourself. Yeah. And he said, matter of fact, he said, do you remember that I fed 5,000 <laughs> with two fishes and five That's what barnacles? he told me the same thing. He told me the same thing. I was like, oh, my goodness. Okay. So, yeah. you know, of course, I called Nick on a, on a Friday. Yeah. And Nick said, okay, Maurice, think about it. I said, First call of all, me back tomorrow. <laughs> think about it one more time. Are you I, sure? Are I, you had sure? To, I had to repent to him, yeah. too, because, you know, obviously God told him to give me the job. And I was like, no, I don't want your job. You can keep it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so he said, uh, take the weekend and call me back Monday, and then we'll talk about it. And so I called him back Monday. And I said, if you would have me, I would, I would definitely accept that position. And, and he said, absolutely. When do you want to start? I said, immediately. Yeah, today. And he said, come tomorrow. And yeah. then I've been here ever since. So, you know, it's been a blessing. It's, it's, uh, I, this, this place is so peaceful. Yeah. The presence of God is definitely here. Yeah. First of all, you got the head of the stream 
is doing a great thing and awesome things here. So if the head of the stream is good and clean, anywhere you go downstream, you're gonna get good water to drink. <laughs> Thank so you. Thank yes, you. that's that's fact. Yeah. You know. So I'm I'm very thankful and I, and and the kids here are awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Sometimes you think that they're not watching you. Yeah. But they watch you, and so that's why. You know, the Word of God says that we're supposed to work as if we work and as unto the Lord. So yeah. I make sure when I come here. I'm doing my best. I'm going to make sure everything is clean, everything is straight. If somebody has a, a project or something going wrong in their classroom, mm -hmm. I'm going to jump on it. Yeah. Boom, and I'm going to take care of it. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, you know, did you d detect an accent in there? There's a little bit of an accent in there. <laughs> and what was hilarious, you should know this, is um, I, I think it was a, your, a relative, maybe your mother. Yeah, my you were mom. On the phone yeah. with, <laughs> and all of a sudden, is that another language? It was, and it was a dialect. Tell us about your dialect. Tell us about yeah, your background. Well, my family's from Jamaica, so you yeah. know. <laughs> so of course, when they call, I'm gonna speak like that, you know, to them, you know. But when I'm speaking like Nick, or anybody like, here, what? I have to speak regular because they're gonna be like, Maurice. What? It was, what are you it talking was about? beautiful. It but was beautiful. yeah, my my family's from Jamaica. My whole family and. Um, Jamaica's awesome. It's a beautiful place. Of yeah. course, right now it's it's really bad down here. It's tough, you know, especially with the coronavirus going on. Yeah. So, you know, we keep them lifted up, keep them in prayer, and I'm I'm still in communication with some of my family members there. So, yeah, that's that's it's all good. Oh, and I do cook, and I cook, and I brought some food in already. Fish and soup. Yes, they love it. Was it. Legit. Yeah. it was legit. Yeah, it was legit. Well, hey, I know this too. Uh, Jamaica's in the news, and you know why? Yes, right? the, the famous. Jamaican bobsled team Winter Olympics in a couple of weeks. Are you, are you gonna be wearing, are you gonna be sporting the, the yellow and the green? Yes, we gotta lift it up in Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah, the cool runnings. Cool running. I don't know if you've seen that movie. It's a great movie. Yes, John Candy it is. It is. And cool it is. runnings. Yes. And is. I saw I saw they have a skier this year. A yes. snow skier. Yes. Have you yes. ever heard about snow? in Jamaica ever? Never. Never. What about never. ice? <laughs> no. No ice, no, no snow. Unless you eat like a snow cone or something like that, you know? But, <laughs> but we're rooting for the Jamaican Boxers team and the skier. Um, all right, well, cool. So um, so first so first impressions of Berean. Like you've come here, like you you know the work that we do. Now you, you are an outsider and now you're an insider to our school. And so it's always kind of cool to ask that question about first impressions. Like, what, 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 do, you, what do you think about our school and the work that we're doing here? Well, definitely you got believers here and you got people with a heart and a mind for Christ. So of course the atmosphere is gonna be different. Yeah. And that's what I'm, I'm extremely thankful for that because it helps me to stay grounded too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because iron does sharpen iron. Amen to and that. Nick sharpens me. Yeah. So I gotta be I gotta be on my toes. That's why Nick you're here too for me. <laughs> sharpen yeah. me. So when I first came in, I, I noticed you know the teachers are very friendly. The the kids are awesome. I matter of fact I stayed last night to, I think I left here almost ten o'clock watching the, the basketball two basketball game. games. Yeah. And it was it was amazing. Matter yeah. of fact, some of the students said, uh, Mr. Page, are you gonna stay and watch a game? So I was like, uh oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta stay now. Yeah. So you know. So it was it was awesome. It's very friendly atmosphere, very kind and welcoming and loving and I love it here. Yeah. I'm never gonna leave. They're gonna drag me out of here. I'm gonna okay. this game. <laughs> Record that. Record that. I'm a Okay, you can never leave. <laughs> I love you, man. You're, I'm so thankful for you. Um, hey, a um, couple more questions. I got to ask you about your cool ride. I mean, you you got one of the coolest cars around here. <laughs> tell tell us about. I know I know you're, and you said you can fix all things, and yes, you can build things, yes. and you can learn how to do stuff. Well, but, my, my first trade was mechanic work. So mechanic, my oldest yeah. brother taught me, and I could fix anything on wheels, yeah. except diesel engines. I, you know, I never learned that. But when it comes to cars, you know, I, I used to convert cars from automatic to stick shift because I yeah. didn't like automatic. You know, hey, and by the way, that's hard. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> How do you change a transmission? <laughs> uh, yep. So I've got a 2013 Mazda Speed 3. It's turbocharged. So I've got yeah. a nice sound system in there. It's got Bose inside. And I got a 10 inch subwoofer with an amplifier. You you may have heard it. He rolled through here fifth period a couple days ago playing some smooth jazz. And that bass was like humming. Yes, I, yes. I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to tell him. I like that. Yes. Actually, right. I, I took care of some work on Nick's car one day. <laughs> he, he fixed had my a, car. He had a dent on his car, and I, and I took the dent out. So, yeah. Hey, you probably saved me like $300, $400 <laughs> with that dent. I know that. Um, I'm thankful yes, for that. Yes. Okay, here's a cool question. What do you think about... Now, 
you're starting to learn the Berean personality, the school, the work, the teachers, the, you know, what, what this culture is all about at this school. Uh, but if you're, if, it, if the kids are listening right now and, and there's like a message that you would want to give to them or a, a word from God or a favorite, favorite scripture, like what, what do you think that the Lord would like them to hear from you? I, I would say that the most important thing is to know your purpose. What is the plan and the purpose that God specifically has for you, right? Just like your ears, is, you got your ears for a reason, to hear. Yeah. You got your nose for it to smell, your eyes for it to smell. So you have to know what God designed you for, for a specific purpose, and then walk towards that. Mm. And he's going to take you right to where you need to be and want to be, and then you can bring more for his kingdom. You can make his kingdom blossom more. Yeah. And that's what he loves, and that's what he wants. Yeah. So it's, it's important. It's important, you know. My favorite scripture for you guys is, of course, Romans chapter 8, verse 14. Mm. They that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Yes, indeed. Yes, Amen indeed. to that. Again, better than we deserve, which is every faculty member, every staff member here at Berean. And, and another miracle story here <laughs> with, with Mr. Page. If you haven't introduced yourself to him, please do. Um, and let him know you appreciate him and you're thankful for him. And looking, looking forward to, uh, to a great time here uh, with him. Thank you, man. You're welcome, Appreciate sir. Appreciate you. All right. Good times. Amen. All right. Go Berean. Go Berean.